What's up, peeps? Welcome back to another video. Uh, it is a fine Wednesday morning here in Tennessee. It uh, is finally starting to uh, get a little chilly outside, which is uh, my favorite type of weather. I like when uh, the trees change and everything, so uh, a lot more comfortable in the shop where it's not 90 degrees outside and it's like 100 something in here. But uh, quick video today, uh, just to uh, finish out the week here, we didn't have a whole lot going on uh, through a trans in the service truck that you see was sitting over there. Uh, but I had to do a battery harness replacement on it and I wanted to touch on that today. So uh, we'll get after that uh, here in just a second. But uh, just wanted to take a second and say thank you all so much for subscribing, liking the videos, commenting, the whole nine yards. I really enjoy doing this and uh, we're gonna keep on going. But uh, we finally made our first purchase for the channel here, which is this fine tripod. Uh, y'all probably don't know what we've been filming on, but, uh, this nice box right here, <laughs> I've been smashing my phone down in here and then just putting it on one of the stools over there, uh, and setting it up like that as a tripod, just cause I didn't, I was being cheap and didn't feel like buying a tripod. So, uh, we got that now, so we're going to be using that. So hopefully our uh, videos will be that much better, but, uh, I'll walk out here, show you what we got going on on the service truck on the battery harness replacement and, uh, Let's continue. All right, so we'll walk out here and I'll show you what we got going on as far as starting this battery replacement goes. So as you can see, I've already started here. I've got my crossover cable already taken loose. Uh, so crossover cable's already loose. And as you can see, this is uh, the reason I'm changing this. I mean, if yours looks like this, change it. That's why your truck's not starting worth the crap. So we'll get rid of that. But I'll show you here real quick. So you'll start, uh, what I like to do is we're gonna, you're gonna pop your radiator uh, hold downs loose, get them out the way. You'll have two eight millimeters here, here, two on this one and one right here on this extra bracket that holds the digus bottle on and just push it out the way and your cable will be routed up underneath this with push pins so you'll have to pop a push pin out on a couple sides and then you can pull this up and out of here uh, i find it easier to go ahead and pull this uh, passenger side battery out the way and you will come over and you will have this connection that goes to your starter relay that's going to tuck down here and run down and go up and go to the starter relay. And these are two 15 millimeter nuts that you're gonna take loose. Pay attention to the way that this routes. I just scribed mine. So you go, you'll have to take this off and put it on the new harness. We're gonna strip it out of the old harness and then put it on the new one. But uh, if you get this backwards on there, you won't have any cab power or anything. So we gotta swap this on over and uh so i don't even pull the cack pipe so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna go down underneath the truck take it loose and then i'll just push this down and shove my new one up by the cack pipe but laying down here come up underneath here and right there you're gonna have a 15 millimeter uh nut that holds this uh uh bracket on right there you're gonna take it loose and then uh just running straight back down by the engine oil pan and going back to the starter and uh, we'll take it loose at the starter down there and then pull it this direction and then uh pull it up and out of there and then i'll show you our new harness and we'll start getting it uh, slapped in there all right so i'm gonna show you my replacement battery harness uh I know that I stress Ford parts uh, pretty hard and uh, OEM stuff, but you know, that's not always the case. Uh, I do prefer to do that. But uh, on this uh, particular truck, on 7.3 trucks, uh, this stuff is discontinued from Ford. So you can't even get it unless you find a new old stock. And a lot of times that stuff's depleted. Uh, in this case, you can't get these anymore. 
Uh, so what I do is uh, I'll give you the part number and everything. It is from O'Reilly's. Uh, it is just like a kind of like a generic uh, harness kit that we get. It is 90 something dollars. So a lot cheaper than if you were to go to Ford and buy like a $500 one. Uh, and it works pretty good. I've put them on three or four of the fleet trucks. And um, I think Jeremiah's got one on one of his trucks. But uh, they work pretty good. And uh, they're cheap. So I'm going to show you real quick. So uh, this is it. It is a part number 04357. And uh, like I said, it comes from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. And pretty straightforward. You got your crossover cable down to your starter. Uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot that goes into it. But uh, like I said, what we'll do is we'll get our old harness ripped out of there. And uh, we're going to strip our actual accessory or to our starter relay. Uh, those wires that run down, we'll strip it out. And we'll loom it up real nice with this new... Uh, uh, harness here and then we'll get it back in the truck all right so here is our old harness and uh, i'm just going to throw it up on quick uh just tripod video real quick uh i'm going to strip that part right there the part that goes over to your starter solenoid we're going to strip it completely out of this harness all the way down and then uh, we'll make repairs to it because we got to keep it and uh we're just going to loom it up real nice but uh I'm going to throw the tripod up and I'm just going to strip this out real quick. Mine cables broke down here, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my small wire here out of this grommet. I'm probably not going to reuse this grommet uh, just because there's no good way to put it back on there. But uh, your battery harness comes with this long cable that uh, goes over to the actual battery. So we just need our starter signal wire. So we're going to just cut it out of there. I'm going to loom it up. And as you can see, my end broke off by the starter. So I'll get me a new one put on there and heat shrink it all up and we'll get it to put onto our new harness.
All right, so as you can see, I've got my starter signal wire nice and loomed up here. Uh, you can use whatever loom that you like. Uh, this is just some loom that I have uh, laying around that I use to build wiring harnesses on my uh, personal trucks. Uh, it's not, uh, probably not as durable as like the plastic stuff, but uh, we're gonna loom this inside of the plastic stuff. On the new harness, I just want it to go a little step further than just putting a bare wire in there. So uh, I got my ends nice and heat shrinked up here and now we're gonna get it loomed into the new battery harness. So I've got this loomed up the way that I like it. Uh, there is not enough room in this large loom right here uh, to tuck our starter signal wire. So I just uh, loomed it up as nice as I could on the outside of that. And uh, what I'll do is once I get it back in the truck, uh, I'll tuck it up the way it needs to route. And from that point, I'm going to tape where I think it might touch. Uh, I'm going to try and route it uh, away from any rub points that I can, but if you notice anywhere that it looks like it may or may not touch, just go ahead and uh, just pull it back out and uh, tape it up around that general area. Uh, it is loomed, so I mean, 
it's not going to be a horribly big deal, but just, just for that extra protection, ease your mind, just pull it back out and tape it. But, uh, that's what we got there. Uh, I know it's kind of a headache to have to go through and strip your old harness and everything like that. Uh, but for $90, I mean, you can't really beat it. Whereas if you got this exact harness from Ford, I know on six liter trucks, when I replace them, I do get those from Ford and, uh, they are six, $700. So I think, uh, the hassle's worth, uh, saving a little bit of money as far as this goes. And, you know, it's a good product. So, I mean, it, it works, it's going to fix the truck. So, uh, let's get it back in the truck and see how it starts. Alrighty. So we got our harness all replaced here. Uh, so here it is. Uh, it is just a fuzz longer than the factory one. So you might have to just play around with it right out the way that you like, but, uh, tuck it up right here. Nice and neat up underneath your radiator support braces and everything. And then, uh, Here's this, this tucks down here and goes over to your starter relay uh, solenoid. So your big one that goes on the actual battery, comes off the new battery harness, goes to the one farthest towards the cab of the truck and your starter signal wire goes to the one closest to you if you were standing on the outside of the truck. So uh, we got it nice and loomed up there, run down run down right next to the cack pipe down there you probably can't see but uh yeah so i mean that's that's really about the extent of it people nothing too extraordinarily hard uh just to uh, make sure that you have your batteries disconnected and everything when you hook that back up to the starter so you're not down there arcing it and uh, shocking yourself but uh that's uh, really about the gist of it. So uh, this is for 7.3 trucks only. Uh, I'm not sure what this Elsus will fit. I uh, wouldn't put it on a 6 liter because there's a few other wires that have to go to this harness for a 6 liter. But uh, I think it's a pretty good harness for the money. And uh, just make sure you route it. Spend a little bit of time on doctoring it up, making it look good. And uh, that's probably going to do it for me, people. Uh Real quick, end of this video, I just want to say thank you all so very much for subscribing, liking, and commenting the, on the videos. And I uh, hope you all are enjoying everything. And uh, keep passing it around, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.